Okay, here we are. We're at a good place right now. I'm very happy with how this has turned out. I've painted the tusks to make them match. I sanded down the tusks, or I sanded down my filling work, uh, and I got it nice and smooth, and then I mixed the color, and all of the colors here you see went into that white. Just that white has all of these colors. Raw umber, French yellow ochre, burnt sienna, phthalo green, French ultramarine blue, cadmium yellow, titanium white, burnt umber, and black, I think gloss black. Uh, and these were easy because there's just black in there. I didn't have to do much on the red and I'm happy about that because that looks like a very special red uh, and that glaze I'm not sure what's in it and I'm glad I didn't have to do much with that. The rest of it has turned out very well. I'm very pleased. Uh, I did not go crazy because perfectionism is not a good thing when you're working on this stuff. If you try to make things perfect, oftentimes you make them worse or you goof them, and then you have to go back and fix that. So I just did it so you can't tell, and it's turned out well. The inside is good too. It's so pretty. I mean, it really is. What a beautiful piece. Really nice. Enjoyed working on it. But I've got to get on to other projects that I have. Um, just really quickly, I like recycling. Yes, that is a cat food can, and I like using things like that. They're so, it's solvent safe, so it doesn't melt. It's aluminum, and it's a perfectly good mixing container. This large brush here is to clean any debris off before I start painting so that when I paint, I don't run into things like a black hair or some mysterious piece of lint that showed up uh, that'll ruin your job. So being clean when you work is good. The other thing that's important too is a studio that's comfortable. Um, I'm sitting in a really great office chair. Uh, I have all of my materials around me. I know where everything is, it's organized. I have great music, great coffee. Uh, I have beautiful brushes and plenty of them. Um, I have everything at my fingertips to work on these pieces and that's very important because otherwise it would take a long, long time. So this is great. I'm very happy with it. Ardmore art piece. Uh, I believe the sculptor was Teboha or Teboho and the painter was Nozipho. I believe that's how you say it and I'm so sorry if I got those names wrong. Uh, but I loved working on this piece. Ardmore Art makes amazing, desirable pieces. They're very sought after. And we're going to get started on the next project. I'm going to pull that tape uh, and clean this up and get any dust or dirt off of it and then deliver it back to my client. Uh, and they'll be happy, I hope, and I'm happy with it. So thank you for sharing this with me and see you on the next project.